What's going on, everybody? It's Dustin here, the Pro Picker. I'm here with another thrift store video at the Valley Thrift Store, which is probably uh, the largest thrift store in the Dayton area. It is absolutely huge. And today is 25% off day being Monday. They do a customer appreciation day where everything in the store is 25% off. Um, the carts are kind of interesting. I got another low rider cart um, that likes to bob up and down. I, I think the carts at some point started breaking in the middle and they just started uh, like strapping them down. So the first thing I see immediately coming in here is this PS3 rock band set. Now I'm not saying it's uh, gonna get $129.99 like on the screen there, but they are going for money guys. Um, they want like $15.99 for it, but it's also 25% off. So it comes out to like $12. So it's absolutely something um, I want to pick up. The pedal alone would sell for $35 shipped. Um, the poles are worth money. Everything can be parted out on this if it doesn't work. So I quickly ask if uh, she can hold it for me because there's no way that's going to easily fit in my cart. But uh, apparently they do no hold here they have a lot of rolls at this thrift so i have to pay for it and take it back out to the car um I, this is probably the strictest thrift store in the dayton area as well as the largest um with a, a wide array of rolls including no backpacks uh, which that one's not crazy uncommon um so i wear a body mount on this so that's why my gopro is a little bit lower when i come to the valley thrift than uh other places so i go ahead and put that out in the car great pickup right off the bat there i've even bought parts for uh the drum sets before it never hurts to have stuff on hand um i've bought complete sets where people swore up and down it was complete in the box i looked through it and missed that it was missing a pole and i've had the order before so, um, yeah, it's definitely a thing that you can part that out if you need to. So, it's a win-win. I'll win either way. Rock band stuff, Guitar Hero stuff is so spiked recently. Years ago, they just didn't have that much value. Nowadays, I feel like everybody's wanting to play their favorite old ones. I thought these were hand-painted for a second. I'm pretty sure they're not. Uh, they seem very similar to the plates in the set that I got, uh, the Pier 1 set that I picked up at Goodwill not too long ago in a recent video. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on the bell notifications. It will let you stay up to date with all my new reselling videos, which I post very frequently. So far, over a uh, 40-some day streak, I think, of posting daily, which is insane. Probably not sustainable, but it's awesome that I'm doing it right now, I guess. And uh, please comment down below. These kind of things really help me out. I uh, just want to point out, um, I buy Halloween costumes out of season to sell during Halloween, and that's not the price I'm willing to pay. That Ghostbusters costume at $10.99, even 25% off. Uh, I'm not a player. I don't want to hold much money in them, so you basically have to almost give them to me. Uh, $3 or less is tip, uh, for my normal costumes. I actually have one of these Electro fans, uh, a little white noisemaker. I used it in the office when uh, I worked in the uh, corporate sector. And I know they're uh, very popular on Amazon. Uh, they wanted eight bucks for it. However, it's 25% off, so I'm closer to five or six. So uh, I throw it in the cart because I know it's going to sell very easily and be a first class ship. There you'll notice that another PSP case with no game inside. Unfortunate. Uh, who knows what game was in there? Maybe it was Vice City Stories. Maybe it was FIFA. We'll never know. I probably should have picked these up. They're kind of in rougher shape than even the footage shows, though. Uh, those are actually uh, roller derby, and they didn't want much. I can't remember which, but I do rebound on the skates here with these roller bl blade trainers. Now, uh, these are uh, not the same as the comp I put on the screen. However, I believe I'll get... Um, close to that price for these they're in fairly good condition uh the wheels are in good shape so i mean they're ready to they're ready to use 
and I believe I only end up paying around five dollars for them out the door. Um, they're five ninety nine, then the twenty five percent off. So then I, I I know I'm kind of bouncing all over the place here, guys. Um, I don't show every aisle in this video, but I do pick up this electronic football handheld game here. It's meant to be a throwback to the retro one, uh, which is pretty cool. It does work. I turn it on and see that it works. Um, they only want $1.50 for it after the 25%, so why not? Uh, same with this Jenga, which is crazy. I was expecting it to be like $8.99. They had $1.99 on it. Again, 25% off. Uh, it's going in the cart. Now this is what I'm talking about. These costumes, they're only like $3 or less. You really have to look in the back and kind of confirm that this stuff looks new or at least gently used. And I'll, I'll point that out later, uh, the reasoning why. So this one right here is actually a pretty expensive costume normally. Um, it's not by Spirit. I don't have it right next to me. However, um, it will uh, it will move within that uh, right price point I like to be at. So guys, the plan is three dollars or less on costumes, and sell them for twenty five to thirty five shipped during Halloween. And that's just kind of like the the game plan there to uh, bump up uh, the AOV in the beginning of Q4. To, uh, not AOV, but the actual total gross in Q4, the beginning of it. Um, I see those tumblers. And uh, before I talk about them, uh, this is a Dark Angel costume. But look, if you look at the retail price here, it's $39.99. I should get $30, $35 bucks for this on eBay. They want $4, but remember the 25% off, so it hits that $3 mark. I probably would have paid the $4, but $3 is so much better. It's why I shop here on discount day. Um, the Jurassic World thermoses there, the comps I threw up on the screen were for brand new individual ones that were similar. Those are These are both pre-owned at $1.50 a piece. I'll probably lot both of them together, and I'm going to ask... 35 40 bucks shipped. Now, uh, the Bear Paws here, these are in excellent condition. They stood right out, and they only wanted $8.99 with 25% off. I'm guessing that's around 6 bucks. So, crazy pickup. I know it's not going to be like a lot of money, but I know they'll sell very easily. Uh, definite pickup, guys. I'm going to get 40 bucks for those shipped all day long. I've sold Bear Paws in worse condition than that for 35 uh, and thirty dollars shipped respect, uh, respectively in the past. I do see these Brooks there. I think the Ravina Sevens. This colorway or pattern uh, just doesn't seem to be crazy valuable. I do look them up. I, I have no shame in saying that I'll pull out my phone when I need to. And, uh, you know, it, I avoid purchasing that because of them. They only wanted like five bucks, but I think like it'd be more like around the 22 to $23 shipped range, which isn't where I really like to be. Now, these Nordica ski boots are a pleasant surprise. I, I just look and see them in the bag there and they go for about $75 shipped in good condition. These are scratched up just a little bit. So I'm going to go with the uh, idea of maybe knocking five or 10 bucks off of them, but they're only $5. Um, this, what is it? XXX Tenta, I, I could never pronounce his name, but um, uh, he's a rapper that uh, I guess uh, passed away. I think it was about a year or two ago now, unfortunately. And uh, that's not one of the original hoodies. It is a repop. However, I should get about $30 for it and they didn't want much. And I'm shocked to see a stack of newer uh or new games, because you don't really see uh, much other than like old sports games and stuff over here. In fact, thrifting, you just don't find as many games as you used to. Uh, it's just uh, the unfortunate reality of it. It kind of takes a little bit. I love game hunting, guys. It's kind of like a, the hobby part of this for me, even though I'm still in it for the money 100%. Don't get me wrong, but it's enjoyable to me. And uh, the fact that it's harder and harder to find these at thrift stores uh, does take a little bit of the joy out. So this was really cool to find some of these. And, uh, I'll pull up some comps and give you a little bit of a recap on the game portion here in just a second.
So, yeah, it, oh, as you can see, I got The Sims 2. I, I'm thinking about 14, 15 bucks, uh, probably about 13 to 14 on the big game hunter. 10 or 11 on the Kingdom of Fates and the Pirates there uh, $17 and uh, as I go down the aisle here the same aisle I find this Cars Wii game and it should be about a $15 ship disc these are all shipped prices but they're only asking two or three dollars each and remember it's 25% off day so a three dollar game becomes two and a quarter a two dollar game becomes a dollar fifty those uh, public school math skills there. So <laughs> um, I do see uh, this one HBA thing, uh, health and beauty uh, aid bags, and they do have uh, some things that are interesting in there. Um, a chunk of L'Oreal makeup. I know that's not like high dollar, but some of it's pretty decent, and uh, I should be able to lot it together and make a profit. And uh, the leftover stuff probably throw on my yard sale table. Um, it actually moves pretty decent for me. I was shocked to see this Gensu knife block here. Uh, I just remember seeing those TV ads. I didn't pe realize people actually bought those, but yeah, there it is. I do look up comps here and see, I see this one that sold for 30, but then the rest of them that sold the exact same one are uh, selling for like $15 shipped and there's no way I wanted to risk that. And the sell through was actually kind of low. This is a soul heart rate monitor uh, transmitter. Now I've sold the, um, what is it? The pulse, not pulse. Now I can't even remember, oh, polar, there we go. <laughs> I've sold a lot of the polar ones for some reason. I find those new in package all the time. I don't know why. I'm happy to. Uh, this one, uh, usually for about 25 to 35. This one I should get about 24. And I find another HBA thing. It has a couple of those Lancome uh, revitalized lift serum things in there. Uh, I should get about 15 bucks a piece on those. And there's a few other pieces of uh, interest there. This is a pirate costume, I guess, for a kid. And I look in the back here and immediately see it's stained. So that's kind of why you need to at least take a look. And hey, look what's happening here, guys, while I wait in line. I'm posting on my Instagram story, giving you a behind the scenes look at things that you don't see in the videos at Pro Picker Ohio if you want to check it out. Again, my Instagram is at Pro Picker Ohio. Uh, would appreciate if you follow me there. Um, I do post additional content there, uh, such as kind of what I'm shipping out. Um, numbers, stuff like that. So uh, here's a recap of everything that I purchased. Uh, just putting it all out here for you to see. That's my code. I had to take it off once I got inside. It felt this when you get so many people in a building, it just gets too warm. Uh, as you can see, I got like the HBA or health and beauty aids, uh, the uh, roller blades there. I love buying this many video games, even if they're not high dollar. Uh, it's just something I like to like to like to buy and sell. The electro fan, and ended up getting that uh, electric football or electronic football. The skis, uh, ski boots, bear paw boots. Can't forget the Jenga. And then uh, got the stack of Halloween costumes. So yeah, overall, this was a pretty good haul. I was here for quite some time. Anytime you actually see me at this thrift store, which I've been going weekly to, mainly since you guys like it so much. I, I mean, you know, it's a little bit of a drive for me, but I figured, hey, you guys like checking it out. And it is a nice change of pace from hitting the same three thrift stores I typically do nearby. Uh, so yeah, I think this was a really good haul. Started strong right off the bat there with the rock band and ended up uh, getting quite a few different items uh, throughout the store in a broad range of categories. Uh, of course, we picked up some games. What's nice about those is they're easy lists, easy ships. Uh, we all know that. And, uh, you know, there's that whole dose of nostalgia selling video games. I remember uh, when I used to have time to play them. Unfortunately, not so much anymore. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Always uh, appreciate the support, guys. Um, go ahead, uh, subscribe to the channel if you have it. If you made it this far in the video, you must like it. 
or have forgot that you had it on in the background, one, one of the two, uh, turn on the bell notifications, hit the like button, uh, comment below. All those things really help me out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have some pretty good stuff coming. Uh, so yeah, check it out.